Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Come see me at RuPaul's Drag Con September 28th, 29th, and 30th. Get your tickets now at RuPaul'sDragCon.com. <gasps> We're going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season 10 of... All right, party like it's 2069. The queens are 50 years into the future, and they are giving their fiercest looks as if they were 50 years older. Hmm, 50 years older. I wonder what we'll look like in 50 years. This. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Nothing will change. Everything will be just the same. I will still be drunk on Pinot Grigio and smoking weed, I hope, in 50 years, if all goes well. Our first girl, ladies and gentlemen, is Ms. Cracker. Ms. Cracker, and she's giving us a little Miranda Priestly. Miranda Priestly, she is the editor of the editor of editors. Again, it's one of those things, and we spoke about this a little bit on the last one, where she's like doing the assignment. Coasting. And the like the thing with the glasses, it's like, mm -hmm. bitch, I'm gonna have LASIK. My eyes ain't gonna be going bad, bitch. And I love that she's got huge looking fake pumped lips. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know, I just, it's kind of like, oh, girl. You know, I'm assuming that because this is 50 years later that everyone is going to have bad eyesight. So everyone's gonna probably have glasses on or some sort of eyewear. 50 years from now, who knows what the f***ing trend is. Like everyone, everyone is getting their lips done like it's a belly button piercing in the 90s. You know, it's like, it's no big deal. Who knows, 50 years from now, people may wanna just get rid of their eyes. Oh, I have no eyes at all. Yeah, and be like, you know, this is my new eye surgery. I got rid of my eyes. You never know. All three of them? Uh, no, I just keep the third one. My yeah. third one's down there. Oh, that's <laughs> a big brown one. <laughs> Seesma. Um, Seesma. It's a two. Um, it's okay for me. I'm going to. I'm, this is what something that Aja and I made up called the newt, which is neutral. It's neither toot nor boot. It's a newt. Yeah. It's a newt for me. Girl, no, that's, no, 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 no. It's, it needs to have a toot or a boot. Or you either gotta say shoot or scoot. You can't, you can't just be in the middle, girl. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna give this a boot. Oh, okay. Cause I'm bored. Okay. I'm bored, I'm like, come on. Uh, I know. It's like, oh, come on, Miss Cracker, we're all rooting for you. We like you, we think you're quirky and funny. Where's the quirky and funny in this outfit? You know, duh, Miranda. It's, it's just a total doy outfit. Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> Clever. It's a boot for me. Next. Yeah. But next we have Cameron Michaels. Oh my gosh. Okay, does she not remind you of Yetta from the Yetta? Nanny? Yetta! Totally. <laughs> she totally does. I have just been on a marathon watching uh, the Nanny over and over and again, and Yetta is me. Yeah. Yeah, I am Yetta. I'm like, an, I'm an Indonesian Yetta. I don't know what that's called, but like. I love this. I think it's funny. I think it's clever. I think it's realistic. Um, she went full on prosthetics. Yes, and I appreciate that. I'm like, you know what? Go there, honey. Go there. You know, and it still has a little bit of like, it has elements of style, which I would imagine that mm -hmm. when you are of, of a certain age, you're not gonna lose style, I hope. No. So I give this look a two. It's a f two, mm -hmm. even the way she presented it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like with the pills and all that, it was uh -huh. f Hilarious. Loved it. Love it, love it. Two. Two. Next we have Marna. Oh, mm, so no. What? Girl, it's a boot. Now here's this the thing. This is Hilarbox. Okay, yeah, and we love hilarity. Oh, yes, make me laugh. Here's the thing. You're still a queen. Put on at least some sort of a f***ing pump. I mean, she should have, instead of like the, this she should have like a colostomy bag or something, but if you're just gonna go that funny, it's a boot. I give it a boot. I love this look. I think it's hysterical. I love the saggy tits. I love that they're pendulous and old. I love that she's got the, the little flats on and uh, you know, 50 years from now, I mean, how, how old is Mona Arshans anyway? She's probably like 30. Maybe. She'll be 80 years old. And with that amount of partying and living in New York City, I would imagine her to be at the nursing home looking just like this. Wig snatched, tits sagged, uh, flats on the foot, 
and uh, her booze in a bag on a thing, because that's how I hope to be when I'm old. I want all the cocktails hanging out up there. I want one Pinot Grigio, and then when I'm, when I'm ready for some whiskey, I just unplug that one and plug it into another artery and get some. That, that's, uh, she is, that's my future. Doing beer enemas and all that kind of thing. This is, that's why she loves this, because she sees this in about 10 years for herself. <laughs> Maybe five. I love this, I give this look a two. Boot. <laughs> Next we have Aquaria. Two. Two. But <laughs> now I, I gotta I gotta say something because Aquaria actually looks like me right now. The gray hair, the weird yeah. ethnic costume, the platform shoe that's obviously designer from something. Like that is a look that I actually and if would it's wear to be the supermarket. Flat, maybe it should have a platform. Yeah. You know who she is? She's one of those advanced style ladies, and that's one of my favorite websites. It's also a an Instagram page, and it's a great documentary, and that's what Aquaria is giving me, and I actually picture Aquaria as this. I like the long gray hair, the cool, like, ethnic y, weird fashion costume. I really actually relate to this look, and I. I don't, I think she's kind of projecting, like I think this is what she's gonna be like when she's 44, which is my age. Mm. I love this. In 50 years. <laughs> a, yeah, she's like 10, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah, this look, this look is an absolute two. I think it's got great taste and I love it. Eureka. Eureka. Mm. It's beautiful. It's, 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 it's very nice. nice. She did the job. Mm -hmm. She showed up. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay. I love the color. I love anything that's got a nice, like, cigarette pant with a little oak coverlet. Mm -hmm. Great. Two. But it's like, what more can we say? Yeah, it's not bad. Not at it's all. It's not bad. I do love the colors on this. Like, the colors are my favorite. I love that kind of midnighty purple, violet, blue, like I love that. Those are colors that I really, really respond to. Very jewel tone, I feel that, but it's all right. Yeah, two. Yeah, it's two. Next. Next we have Asia O'Hara. Okay, Asia. Again, with flat shoes, bitch. Now here's the thing, people go, oh, but girl, when you get to a certain age, you can't wear those anymore. You're still a drag queen. Mm -hmm. And here's my thing. You're going out on the main stage at RuPaul's Drag Race. The house shoe, I just, I do, I love the costume. Mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful. I don't know how she did those braids. Mm -hmm. Because she's not bald, right? She's yeah, still got she's hair. she's a good wig, yeah. So she, she I, the, on her cap. Yeah, them braids, right there, get a two. I, it's, it's a two, but girl, she could have had a pump on. Mm -hmm. Or at least a little wedge, or like a, one of those Dr. Shoals, those wooden, <laughs> like. Or a croc or something. something. I really think that the shoes that she's wearing there are the shoes that she changes uh, while she's backstage. Uh, could be. I think that the shoes definitely were not. Uh, she had pubes. Was... Yeah, great pubes. In their interpretation, does that mean that as soon as you reach, you know, 50 years from now that you become careless? That's the thing. I still hmm. think going out onto the main stage at RuPaul's Drag Race, you could still be like, I'm gonna give you a little biscuit. I love the costume. I love yeah. anything that's got like, you know, volume around the upper part of the shoulder area. Mm -hmm. um, it's a two, I give it a two, but girl, them shoes, no. A lot of it was meant to be funny. It was meant to have a certain level of humor. But, you know, in comparison to the pendulous tits that Mona Ashange had, it just kind of like, you know, as much as I would like to think that I would have pendulous tits when I'm 80 years old. You have them now. I have them already now. <laughs> but really, like, I want, I want people to realize that as you get older, it doesn't mean that we all have to be, like, I know. irresponsible. Like, I like to see the girls presenting themselves 50 years from now. Fierce. Beautiful. And like fierce. Where, 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 in the, where in your life do you think that you're going to become so, or maybe you just don't give a f after a while. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. This look is fine, and I'm going to give it a two. Two. It's not a move. Trend alert! <laughs> Aging gracefully. Letting time take its toll in the most beautiful way you can present yourself in the day. Making it fierce in 50 years. Beautiful. Embracing. Age. Body conscious. And no eyes. <laughs> no eyes, no eyes, <laughs> no eyes. 50 years from now. <laughs> Our top two of the week is Cameron Michaels. Michaels. Yes, Cameron. She went for it. She gave us Yetta, girl. Yes. Pill popping, nice. Mama Mia. <laughs> Loves it. Sisma. Sis. Grandma. 
This is Grandma. Sis! Grandma. Be sure to tune in every Thursday night to VH1 for an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 10, followed by RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. And take a second to check out the displayed link to see if RuPaul's Drag Race is available in your country on WOW Presents Plus. Sisma. Sis. Grandma.